right, it's Cards of the Week, and this is card number 37, titled Armed Against the Enemy. Let's learn more about the legendary rebel, Wedge Antilles. Just before his 18th birthday, a time when Wedge was in his last days of upper division school, the Bone Star Pirates ship Buzzer under Loka Hask docked with the fueling station. Wedge was aboard Booster's Tarek's Pulsar Skate just off Gus Treta when the Corellian security force arrived. The buzzer fled the station without unhooking its fuel line, starting a fire that threatened to destroy the station. Tarek established communications with Wedge's parents, and Wedge listened in horror as Jagged and Xena decided to sacrifice themselves in order to reach the lancing charge that would separate the fueling module from the station, keeping the rest of Gus Treta from destruction. Wedge could do nothing but watch the destruction of the module and listen to his parents tell him goodbye. As Wedge grieved, Tarek's information sources revealed that the pirates had destroyed the station on purpose to cover their escape. Wedge asked Tarek for Hask's name, the location of the ship, and the use of a Z-95 headhunter fighter. The two were able to track the buzzer to the Juma system, though Tarek, aboard the Pulsar Skate, urged Wedge to merely disable them and let the authorities deal with them. Wedge fired on the pirates from the headhunter, destroying the ship and avenging his parents. The act immediately changed his outlook on life, forcing him to a hardened maturity. That's it for now. More information on the next Rebel card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's Story Digest. Although the Rebel forces are well armed, no one denies that the Empire is a far more powerful adversary. Lord Vader and his cronies have plundered the riches of a thousand worlds to bolster their ever-growing armies. The next card is number 38, titled Joined by Dak. Let's learn more about Dak. Dak Ralter was born to political prisoners in the Imperial Labor Colony on Callus VI. His parents were children of the Galactic Republic, who greatly valued the peace and prosperity of those days. Born into captivity, Dak instead only knew the galaxy as a place of fear, oppression, and the Empire. As a youth, his parents would often model his dreams with tales of the wonder and delight that existed before the formation of the Empire. These stories were about all that kept him going during his days living inside the huge, transparent Parents steel dome of Callus 6. His parents' stories helped him keep alive a spark of hope inside the young Dak. He knew that someday his hopes would come to fruition, as they did when he was 17 standard years old. A new prisoner named Bragg came to the camp one day, and being just a bit older than Dak, the two became fast friends. Bragg was a rebel pilot who was downed while on a reconnaissance mission. Luckily for Bragg, the Empire did not know of his affiliation, or he likely would have faced an interrogation droid or worse. That's it for now. More information on the next Dak card. And now it's the back side of the card and it's Story Digest. Dak, a young rebel pilot, teams up with Luke Skywalker in his snowspeeder as a major battle between rebel forces and the Imperial Alliance begins to take shape. All right, those are the cards of the week. Look out for the next cards. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.